Hey there, everyone. I'm back. Yes, I did have a little bit of an unplanned time of being MIA. Uh, thank you for your patience, but it's October now and I'm back and really looking forward to sharing a lot of astrology with you in the upcoming weeks. So this is going to be a weekly horoscope video uh, from the week of the 7th through to the 13th of October. Before I get into the stars, I want to make a special announcement uh, to you. And that is next month, November 23, I am doing a one day in person workshop all on the astrology of 2025 here in Brisbane. So if you can uh, get to Brisbane or you already are here in Brisbane, I'd love to see you. We're going to be having the workshop in beautiful Balimba. We'll be chewing the astro fat all day, having a great time. And then, of course, if you are available, we can have dinner and drinks uh, together because no doubt after a big day of astrology, it's nice to decompress, solidify friendships within the group, and, of course, talk more astrology. So if you would love to come uh, to that, I would love to see you. The tickets are selling kind of quick, so you might want to jump on that. The early bird rate runs until the end of this month, and uh, the day is scheduled for November 23. Uh, I'll pop a link below where you can uh, find out more information and join us. So let's get into the astrology of this week. As I said, the 7th through to the 13th of October. These are also on my website and across my social medias too, if I'm uh, a little late on getting them here on the YouTubes. Alrighty, here we go. To say that we are on the pre precipice of something big would be an understatement. As each and every week passes, I attempt to share some words of wisdom and warning. The veil gets thinner and thinner to the point where it becomes increasingly difficult to be cryptic. You might be looking around at the world today and wondering why everyone and everything has seemingly gone mad in recent years. Lies became truth. Medicine became poison. Fake became real moral became immoral became moral and the bad well it became the good you could be spending a lot of energy trying to figure out why this is happening we may never know why and it's probably something our descendants will study a hundred years from now likely it will be the memes we share that reveal our state of consciousness consciousness hey we can't lose our humor while the empire crumbles let the question of why be a problem for the future. Why, if you waste your moment on why, you'll lose the opportunity to ask a different yet vital question. What? What are you going to do in this very moment? Actions, not words, will be what makes a vital difference now. So what are you going to do to make the world a better place? Aries, old ways of thinking aren't going to bring new realities your way. This is especially true when it comes to your career and your overall life direction. Don't confuse being busy with actually achieving your outcomes. This week is going to bring an important decision and once made, there'll be no turning back. Slow down and consider things very, very carefully. Hasty choices could lead to tough times and possibly even regrets down the track. Taurus, when you hear about topics such as investments or abundance, people tend to think of money. While it's important to have those bases covered, it's also important to cover other bases too. When was the last time you invested in yourself spiritually? When did you last devote time, energy and resources into nurturing your relationship with God in whichever form that takes for you? Time spent with your creator can help you in more ways than you currently realize. Gemini, slow down a little, breathe in, and reflect on how you've changed in recent months. I'm not just talking superficial changes neither. Deep, profound, and life-changing realizations have taken place. What are you going to do with this? Whether you like it or not, a path is planned for you, all you need to do is catch up with yourself so you can prepare to take the first step. The world is cracking right open for you. Cancer, relationships are your key area for growth. While this sounds dandy in theory, 
Relationships are also changing everything you knew to be true. Single or partnered, it matters not. If you want to change your experience with others, you really do need to change the way you think. Thoughts become things and what you want and what you think about others. But most importantly, this is about what you think about yourself. Heal that stuff. Leo, the company you keep are having more of an influence on you than you're giving yourself credit for. Speaking of credit, your stubborn streak rarely gets the recognition it deserves. If you're finding you're not wanting to change, not wanting to open up to new ideas or perspectives, then you're only really hindering your own growth. Other people in your life are opening you up to explore new opportunities. Avoid shutting them down. Virgo, opportunities to multiply, opportunities tend to multiply when they are seized. Then there are times when you attempt to seize them all, but none are really sticking. You need now to take your time and think about things more clearly than you have done in a while. Your eye for discernment will serve you well now. So turn the volume down on your career and life direction possibilities and ask yourself, what do you really want in the bigger scheme of things? Libra, you seem to want the best of opposing worlds right now. On the one hand, you want to grow roots and have a solid family life. On the other, the world is beckoning, beckoning you to explore it. Rather than life seeming like an either or situation, is there a way you can turn things into a both and scenario? You can have it all. You just have to balance things out at the same time. Scorpio, what thoughts enter your mind when you hear things such as debt, money, investments, mortgages, and things of the like? Is that something you're open and honest about, or is that something you tend to bury your he head in the sand about? Right now, you do need to change your perspective on the white elephants in your life, be that actually fi a financial situation or just the way you think about it. Your perspectives can really shift your reality. Sagittarius, love and money are hot themes for you. It can be a, also can be a case of confidence. Are you confident when it comes to relationships? Are you getting what you deserve or are you settling for less? If things aren't going the way you want, then turn that ship around. It's going to have to start with you changing what's true for you in love, though. See cancers within as that will change your perspective on things. Capricorn, the choices you do or don't make will alter your life. That's a heavy statement, I know, but you're in one of the rarest cycles of your life. Choices carry weight now. You've come this far. You've not come this far just to come this far. You've done too much and seen too much of not enough. If you quit now, What's it all for? Dig a little deeper. The light at the end of the tunnel is closer than you think. This isn't the time to remain on cruise control. You think you may have dodged a bullet, but it will circle around before you know it. Sure, continue to have your fun, but don't be foolish and forget that things have consequences, positive and negative. Denial tends to cost you more than being willing to change your mind ever will. If you want to be happy, just change your mind. Pisces, traditions within your family and friends may come into question. You may be asking why you're doing all the things you do and with whom. Asking why not may be the real issue, but what? If you're not happy with the way things are, you can either go along and keep the peace or you can think about what you're doing and change things. Taking action generates change. Complaining just makes you insufferable. There we have it, my friends. The horoscopes are done for this week. I hope you enjoyed them. Uh, it's a big one. It's, uh, and they were all inspired by the Jupiter and Pluto station and the houses they occur in for each of you. So until next time, I hope you have a really great week. And I'd love to hear what you think of your own horoscope in the comments below. Bye for now.